Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have actually just sat down and talked to the camera. I feel like I forgot how to do this and it's like almost awkward. Ah! But yeah, so today's video is going to be a, it's gonna be a casual just get ready with me style just experimenting with new makeup I got sent a whole bunch of makeup amazing makeup from it cosmetics and I loved it cosmetics for a long time I've used this blush brush from them for like years and years It's my favorite brush. I use it every single day, and I have a, a couple other products that I love by them I love it cosmetics cuz like I can see the quality there like it's pricey and it is a high-end brand and you can get it at like Sephora and I think maybe Ulta um, but yeah so I I always get their products like when I want to splurge on something because I know that they have really good quality products so yeah this is going to be one of my really long talking chatty videos where I just talk to you guys while I'm putting on the makeup it's just gonna be one of those one brand tutorials well where I'm just using it cosmetics and I've never used any of this makeup because it's all like brand new to me so I'm really really excited and yeah I'm just gonna kind of come up with whatever I can come up with also, look how long my hair is getting. Like, I feel like it's just so long. <laughs> so they did not send me a primer, so I'm just going to use my trusty old Too Faced Hangover X primer because it is one of my favorites, and yeah, I just love it. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face real quick to, you know, prime my face before I put on the foundation. Next, I'm going to apply the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus. This is a color correcting full coverage cream, and it has SPF 50 plus, which is really large number. <laughs> so I am going to be applying this with my damp beauty blender just because that's my favorite way to apply foundation, especially cream, like heavier creams like this because it kind of shears it out. And especially if this says full coverage, I think a beauty blender would be ideal for that so it's not cakey looking. And this is in the color light. So I'm just gonna do two pumps on the back of my hand and then dab it on my face. Seems to match pretty good. Okay, so now that the foundation is on, first impression so far is that it's definitely a thicker consistency. It's not runny at all. Um, I love the coverage. Like, it has an amazing coverage. Um, it covered all my redness, covered over my spots, and I don't really think that I would need to spot conceal or anything. Um, so that's really good. The only thing that I'm, like, kind of iffy about it is that my it, it doesn't really set, I guess, fast. Like, my skin still kind of feels... Um, I don't want to say heavy, but it just, you can, I don't know, you can, I guess, see that you have product on your skin. Um, it, I don't know. I, I, the only thing that I would say that it looks like your skin but better is because it's so dewy. Like, it's not a matte finish at all. Uh, my skin almost, it looks very radiant, very healthy looking. So that's a good thing if you like dewy foundations. But if you're a matte person, maybe with powder you could get away with it. But I don't know. We're just going to have to see. I'm definitely going to powder it because right now... Like, I feel like in an hour I would look like an oil slick. The color is not bad for me, um, the light shade. It is a little bit lighter than, like, my neck and my chest, but my chest is pretty sunburned. Well, not it's not bad, but it just has a red tint to it because I just got back from Miami not too long ago, and I've been going tanning, so it's a little bit red, so it's never going to look exactly like it because I'm not going to slap a red foundation on my face. So it's not horrible, but it is a tad bit light. So even though this foundation is already really dewy, um, I, they gave me a Hello Light Cream Illuminator and it looks so beautiful, like I'm so excited to put this on. So I'm just going to use my ring finger, just kind of swirl it in a little bit and get some on my finger, like oh look how beautiful that is if you can see it. And then I'm just going to dab this on the highest point of my face. Not even sure if this is picking up on camera, but it looks so beautiful in person. So I'm going to put some down the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow. Highest points of the eyebrows. And I think that's it. I'm going to put a little bit more on my cheekbones over here. So I'm not sure how well that picked up on camera, but like, yeah, actually it, I can tell that it's picking this up. Look how pretty that is so pretty. I love this so far. Since the foundation is a tiny bit too light, I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit and do some cream uh, contouring. I think this is the Radiance Vitality Brightening Cream Disc. So I'm assuming that these are all cream products and there's that other uh, illuminator that looks exactly like the other one. It's probably just sold in this big 
big disc thing, but it has a cream blush and I'm guessing this is a cream bronzer. It almost could pass as a blush because it's very like, I don't know, it has like a, a red mauve undertone, so it's like almost too warm to be a bronzer, but I am just going to bronze like my face up. I'm not really going to contour with it because it's so warm, but yeah, well, I'm, this is all just experimenting. If this looks horrible, then it's just going to look horrible, and we will see. So to do that, I'm going to use my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush, which is my favorite brush to do any kind of cream contouring. Oh wow, this is actually such a beautiful bronzer shade. It looks very iffy like looking at it, but then applying it, it just looks so natural and it blends out so well. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. So now that that's on, I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but in person, it looks amazing. Like, I look like I literally just stepped off a beach. It looks so pretty, like just everything, like the foundation with the bronzer and with the illuminator, like, mmm. This is, this is good so far. So now I'm going to conceal uh, just like my under eyes, I guess. This is the, it's like a duo and it has the Bye Bye Under Eye, which I've used previously and I really love. It's just very, very heavy, so I don't use it like often. But this is in neutral medium and then on the other side, it's the Hello Light Liquid Brightener. So you could conceal just the under eyes and then use the brightener to highlight your face. So that's what I'm going to do. So first I'm gonna apply the Bye Bye Under Eye just to like literally just my under eyes because this is very heavy so I don't think you want to put this like it's very thick and has a lot of coverage so you don't want to apply this like all over your face like you could with like MAC Pro Longwear or something. So I'm just going to do that and then I am going to use the brightener side and I'm just going to like brighten up this whole triangle area so I can highlight the these areas of my face. I'm just trying not to cover up that illuminator, so I probably should have done the illuminator after I concealed, but whatever. I'll just redo it. <laughs> Put some on the chin and a little bit in the center of the forehead. And for blending, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender again and blend this all together. Yeah, I don't know why I did my bronzer and highlighter after or before my concealer. That was probably really stupid because I feel like I'm just covering it all up. But oh well, you live and you learn. This is blending out flawlessly though. I mean, you guys can see. So now that my skin is looking hella good <laughs> and it's super dewy, like I look, you know, borderline wet. So I'm going to powder all of this down, set it down. And for that, I guess I'm going to be using, uh, I don't actually know. I have a foundation but it's like a powder, so I think that that should be okay and not too heavy. They also have the Bye Bye Pores, which is an HD like micro powder, it's just a finishing powder. So I'm probably gonna put this under my eyes um, so it's not too cakey looking. So I guess I'm gonna do that, I just answered my own question. So let me open this real quick before my eyes start creasing up, which they probably already are because they always do. Um, ah, I can't open this. And then I'm going to be using my setting brush by Real Techniques, like always, and let's do this. Okay, so it's not stark white, which I like. It kind of has a tiny yellow undertone. So I'm just going to use this to set that under eye concealer. Ooh. Wow. That made me matte in like a millisecond. <laughs> wow. This is like legit bye bye pores. Like you can, my skin looks photoshopped. It looks so smooth. This is amazing. Holy crap. Not gonna lie, it literally looks like I photoshopped like from here to here. It's so smooth. It does look a tad bit powdery, like you can kind of see like there's a layer of powder on top, but from like a distance, like from here to my mirror, so smooth, it legit looks like I took that smoothing um, tool on like the Photoshop on our phones, like the editing, and I smoothed it out, like that, it looks amazing. So this Bye Bye Pores powder is amazing and I highly recommend this. So I'm going to put this on my nose as well, tad bit, and then on my chin and a little bit on my forehead, just where I put that um, concealer. And then on the other parts of my face, I really don't need it, but I'm just, I want to use as many products as possible. So now I'm going to use that, um, what's it called? 
the foundation. This is called um, a Celebration Foundation Illumination in the color Light. And this is a hydrating powder, which is amazing because when you think of powders, you think of like really dry and they make your face look dry and cakey. And so that's really awesome that this one is a hydrating powder. So let's see if it actually, you know, makes my skin look hydrated. For that, I'm going to use this brush by It Cosmetics. Their brushes are seriously some of my favorite. They're so expensive, but like you can tell you're getting what you're paying for so incredibly soft and fluffy and these brushes are amazing if you want like to splurge on even just a one high quality brush these ones are really really good options so I'm just gonna do one quick dab of that and then run that over the oh, this brush is so soft run that over the rest of my face that I didn't put that HD powder and I'm also gonna run that down my neck For my brows, I'm going to be using this Build-A-Brow Waterproof 5-in-1 Microfiber Cream Gel Stain. Their names are so long, and this is in Universal Taupe, so it looks a little bit warm for me, so I'm really hoping that it's not going to give me like orange eyebrows, because um, that would suck, and I really don't like when my eyebrows are warm. I like them to be very taupe, which this is a taupe color, but we will see. So I'm going to be using a Sigma Small Angled Brush to apply this, and I I guess I'm just gonna go for it. I don't really know what I'm doing here. So I just kind of do a line straight under my brow and it's a little bit dark. It's making my brows really dark looking. So that's kind of scaring me, but I'm gonna keep going with it. So you can already see like how much darker and a little bit warm compared to this one. So I don't know. So I think that's as good as that's gonna get. They also have this universal brow pencil and it's just called Brow Power. So I'm gonna try to use this on like the outside of the tail because it's kind of like not filling in all the way. So I'm just going to run this right there. Yeah, see that filled it in a lot better. So I guess I'll just run this through any sparse areas, like up here in the front, very lightly. So I think that looks really, really good. It is, of course, really dark because these products are universal, so they have to make it cater towards brunettes too, so it can't be so light because it's not, you know, a blonde product. So yeah, it's going to look really dark. I don't mind having super dark brows with my platinum hair because I think that kind of looks cool, but yeah, I can also lighten it with a little bit of this MAC brow set, which I'm going to do now. So this is just a like a blonde tinted brow gel that just lightens up the brows. So I'm just going to run this through just to lighten them up a little bit because they were pretty dark. So this eyebrow is just not cooperating. These two definitely be looking like some second cousins half removed or something. They definitely are not looking like twins. So whatever. Now we are going to move on to the eyes. I am so excited. I've been putting off trying this like I didn't even want to use it until right now but it's so pretty it's the naturally pretty palette by it cosmetics this is what it looks like gorgeous colors and yeah I'm just gonna play around and see what I can come up with they did not give me an eye primer so I'm just going to use my Mac paint pot in a soft ochre so first I'm going to put the color Warmth with this Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Number no. 7 brush, which is a dual ended brush. So this is a face brush and then it has like an eye brush I guess, or maybe a concealer one. I'm not sure, but I'm going to use it for eyes. And I'm just going to apply this Warmth color all in my crease. So I literally just read the word Sunset, it's one of the colors, and the next one beside it is Sunrise. So I'm going to go for like a Sunset, Sunrise kind of look just because I just read it and now that's what I want to do. So I'm going to take a brush like this and I'm going to pick up that sunrise color and I'm going to be applying that to my inner third. Then I'm going to flip the brush over and pick up the sunset color. This is going to go in the middle of my eye. And I'm only taking it up to the crease, I'm not going above it, and I'm just kind of like swiping like this to blend it in with that orangey color. Then I'm going to take the color Java and put that on the outer third.
and this has a little bit of fallout so be careful. Now on a Sigma E25 I'm going to take a little bit more of that original warmth color and just go back and kind of blend it on top of these other colors. On a pencil brush I'm taking a little bit more of that Java and just running it slightly into the crease to give a little bit more shape to the, my eye and like define the crease a little bit more. And then go back with the original or the uh, Sigma E25 and blend that out. So for highlighting I'm going to grab Sheer Joy and just put that under my brow bone. Okay, so I'm going to do the bottom and I'm just going to run a little bit of that Java on the pencil brush underneath my eye. To give a little bit of definition under there. Connect it up to the top half. And then I'm going to stop halfway. For the inner half, I'm going to take the color Transforming Pearl. And I'm just going to place this right in that inner corner to open up the eyes. And I love doing this. You see this a lot in my tutorials because I just love the way that this shapes the eye. And I'm also going to put that in the inner corner as well. So now I'm going to try out this Hello Lashes Extensions 24 Hour Lash Extending Fiber Mascara. Again with the long names. So this is what it looks like and this is what the wand looks like. Oh, well you can't really see it there. So it's got kind of that ball tip and then it's just got the little rubber bristles. So yeah, I'm going to just do a couple coats of this. So this is definitely more of a lengthening mascara than a volumizing one. I don't typically like fiber mascaras because the fibers always fall on my face and get in my eyes and I just, I don't have the time for that. And if I want my lashes to be that big, which is what the fibers are supposed to do, I'll just put fake lashes on. I think it's much easier. But I like this one because it still looks natural, it doesn't look all spidery like how some of the fiber mascaras do and this claims to not have any fiber fallout which is a huge plus and I haven't experienced that yet I didn't see any kind of any of the fibers fall off while I was applying it um, of course I would have to see you know a full day's wear to see if they kind of fall out around here I don't know I'm enjoying it what do you guys think and this is with two coats by the way by the way, their products are paraben-free, sulfate-free, um, fragrance-free, and cruelty-free, which is amazing. So those are all good things to, you don't want that stuff in your products. So, you know, thumbs up for IT Cosmetics for taking all that crap out. So I am just going to finish up my mascara on both eyes. I'm going to put it on the bottom as well. And then I'm going to pop on some fake lashes. These are the Red Cherry number 43s. I've been getting so many questions about what lashes I've been wearing recently in like all of my Instagram photos and it is these babies right here. These have been hands down my favorite lashes for the past like two or three weeks. They're amazing. They're very, very similar to the Ardell Demi Wispies, which were my favorite before. These are just a little bit longer, so they're a little bit more dramatic, and I love them. They just make, they give you the perfect kind of cat eye because they, they tape, they're so big on the outside and then they go so small, so it gives you that like whoosh, and I love it. So I'm going to pop these on just because I am going out um, later tonight, so I want to have a little bit more uh, drama since I'm not putting liner on. So I'm gonna pop some lashes on, do my bottom mascara, and then I will be back to finish up the face. Um, I really, really like just the whole lashes and no liner look recently, so that is what I'm rocking it tonight. Now I'm really, really excited to use this. This is the CC Plus Radiance Ombre Blush. Look how beautiful that is. I'm like most excited to use this right now. So I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Blush Brush, which you've seen a billion times in every single one of my videos because it's my favorite brush of all time. Highly, highly recommend it. I don't know why I'm starting with blush though. I should probably contour first. I'm going in such a weird order. Okay, so for contour, I'm going to use this giant palette. Look, it's almost as big as my face, like huge palette. It's called the Live Love Laugh Vitality face disc and I'm going to use of course the bronzer shade and one thing I did want to mention about the CC cream or the foundation is that I got super intense creasing on my forehead lines um, I know that that's 
typically my fault because like I'm going like this so much so it's like it's only normal that a foundation is gonna crease right there when you're constantly holding your forehead like that but I didn't get any creasing in my smile lines which I've noticed I've been getting a lot with my other foundations so that's really good and yeah so just keep in mind that this foundation can crease if you're holding if you have really intense expression lines which I do I usually always get creasing on my forehead and I don't really know how to fix it I just kind of like take my beauty blender and kind of like dot over the foundation but I don't know it never really fixes it so if you have any tips on how to like get rid of these forehead lines because that's where I get it the worst I do get smile lines sometimes but it's not like as horrible as my forehead lines like my forehead lines are like meh, meh, so obvious and really annoying so help you girl out so now we can go on to the pretty ombre blush so I'm going to dab that in and apply it to the apples of my cheeks ooh Super pretty. Oh, this is perfect for spring. Like, this is the perfect spring cheek color. It's super, like, light rosy, but, like, look how natural. I mean, it literally looks like I'm just flushed, like I had run. Oh, so pretty. Then I'm gonna go back to the Vitality Disc, and I'm gonna grab the highlighter right here, which looks gorgeous. So I'm going to grab my Sigma Tapered Highlighter and apply this to the high points of my cheeks and like everywhere else. <laughs> and I know we already put that cream illuminator on, so technically I don't need this step at all, and I didn't really need to like bronze and contour again, but I just like to set all of my cream products with powder products anyways, so it just kind of like, if the powder were to wear off, you would still have that base, and it just, I don't know, I like doing both steps, but you definitely don't have to if it's a little much for some people. So I'm gonna put this on my nose. Oh, this is so pretty. Like. Look at my cupid's bow. I'm like obsessed with these face products right now. So that is it for that. So for my lips, I'm going to be using this It Cosmetics Your Lips But Better Waterproof Lip Stain Line Lip Liner Stain. Interesting. It's a lip liner, but you can also use it as a stain, I'm guessing. Um, so this is in the color Buff Nude, and I'm going to just apply this as a lip liner, and I think I might fill in my lips with it um, and just wear it like that, but I'm not sure because I do have a lipstick here called Damsel, and it's really, really, really pretty. It looks like this. It's just a nice nude, like a pinky nude. Actually, it's more of like a brownie nude. But yeah, so I'll probably just line my lips, fill it in, and then put this on top. So this is the final result, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this and found it somewhat interesting just watching me experiment with all this new It Cosmetics makeup. And yeah, I really, really like this look. I think it's very spring appropriate and, you know, it's pretty. It's very daytime, like easy to accomplish kind of makeup. Um, yeah, I love it. Definitely love all the face products. Like, they all blew me away. Honestly, there was not one face product that I was like, eh, about. They are amazing. Um, the palette was okay. I, I, I was not, I don't want to say I'm disappointed with it, but they just were a little bit hard to blend in my opinion. But again, first time using it, like it could definitely change over time. Um, but I do love the colors and I think this is a beautiful like everyday kind of palette. The colors are very just um, subtle, I guess. And again, I love the brushes. Definitely, if you're going to pick up one brush, definitely pick up this It Cosmetics blush brush because I swear by it. It's been my favorite for years and years. So yeah, I will zoom you guys in now so you guys can see the final look a little bit more HD and up close and personal. And I also just wanted to mention that It Cosmetics was kind enough to give you guys a discount code, which is awesome. Saving money over here. And the code will be down in the bottom bar. It is for 20% off orders, uh, $25 or more and you get free standard shipping so that's awesome thank you a cosmetics I'm sure that you guys will appreciate that and yeah that's the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed this look and until next time I will talk to y'all later Bye.